I uh, hope my voice comes through here. It's, you know, I've been watching some YouTube base of mine, Silver Hustle 13, Salve Metal, and they decided to take some of their out, uh, unboxings outdoors. So, hey, when in Rome, I thought I would uh, take you to the most scenic and nat uh, you know, scenic nature spot there is in my neighborhood. Oh, did I mention I live downtown? So, yeah. You got a tree here and there, but I give you trains. Hey, every grown-up's uh, wish to have their own train set. Oh, there goes a train. Now, I was tempted to parkour along the concrete jungle here, but I'm kind of beat up right now. I'm aches and pains, old man stuff. So I, I won't do that, but I will unbox this package I have. see what we got here yes I could have partially undid it before sorry for the suspense Put that there. I'm sure, that's the invoice. Dang, it's loud. Choo choo. Back to the metals. Come on. All right. So, the first thing I got here is a uh, book of Benjamin Franklin half dollars. It's not a complete book. And they're not really uncirculated. I mean, they're, they're certainly circulated. I'll give an overview as well back inside at the end here just in case these aren't showing up correctly I got a couple of little vintage years there but you know, there we go so that's that's one of two of the uh, auctions I won. And a little bit of backstory. I won these on proxy bid. I never used proxy bid before. I do not plan to. They really hide items from you, such as shipping cost and uh, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, buyer premiums. So, what I thought was a pretty good bid turned out not to really be that much of a, you know, deal but hey with brexit and the increase in metal prices hey i feel pretty good regardless so then the other thing i got was some mercury dimes and i'll show you what i got here I don't see any rarities. Maybe that 34D, but that's kind of worn over. And 29D. But most of these are like mass minted. Choo choo! How about that? Anyway. That's uh, really it. I think I paid a little too much, like I said. I mean, any place that charges $25 just to ship this little bit of stuff, 
Yeah, they're they're kind of scheming. Give you one more shot of the train. I will give an overhead of the coins inside without all this sunshine. It's about five o'clock here, and yeah, it's bright here in Texas. All right, see you back inside. Well, I'm back inside, guys. It's hot out there. It's bright. It's uh, overwhelming. So, once again, I got these Benjamin Franklin hairs. I want to see if from my original stash of half dollars if I could fill in some of these. I probably can. And then here's the Mercury Dimes. Like I said, I didn't see any particular year with a low mintage for the Dimes. The half dollars, it's had some lower mintage years, but nothing that is so rare that it's going to make me jump out of my seat. So there we go, uh, more silver for the stack, worth uh, more, you know, more over these last two weeks since I made the order. Uh, I would not recommend using proxy bid. Their guidelines are not exactly straightforward, and I was not even given a tracker, so I was left in limbo. It was shipped overnight. It was like they spent twelve fifty to ship it, but they charged me twenty five. So. Really? You gotta charge me twelve fifty just for packaging and effort, please, please, please. I'm so happy. Anyway. Don't know when the next unboxing is gonna be. Silver as far as bullion goes is a little high. I'm gonna keep an eye out for numismatics. And uh have a great day. I'm tired as hell and now I've got heat stroke and I'm going to go pass out. Bye.